We're very happy that you could join us this evening. We're very excited to be graduating yet another group of students. And right now, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I would love to applaud them for all of their hard work. I'm Dr. Lauren O'Hare. I'm the chair of the School of Nursing here at Wagner College. So I hope you enjoy yourselves this evening. Um, we'd like to congratulate all of you. Uh, the students here have accomplished quite a bit. And m most often than not, you don't get thanked yourselves. So on behalf of the students, we'd like to thank you for supporting them through this whole entire program. We are lucky to have with us this evening our president, Richard Karasi, and he is here to say a few words for us. Welcome, Richard. Welcome to the Adirondacks. Uh, I spent 19 years in the Adirondacks. I think I was warmer there than I was here tonight, so uh, welcome and congratulations to the students as well. What, what a wonderful moment in your lives. And really a salute to the families that support you, as Lauren echoed, but also a salute to your faculty, both full-time and adjunct faculty. You've done such a splendid job in preparing you for this profession. Let's give it a <laughs> I'd just like to say a few words before we uh, move to the actual ceremony, the moment you're waiting for. Uh, and first of all, let's really talk a bit about your education here at Wagner. You've been prepared, uh, obviously, for your profession. You've been given a broad and deep education here at Wagner College, a liberal education, which means being able to understand the world uh, wide and deep, to be prepared to deal with cultures and histories and experiences outside of your own experience, of your immediate experience, of your immediate biography. That's what a, uh, a practical liberal education is all about. It's merging the best of professional education, which gives you skill, gives you application, gives you direction, gives you a sense of professional ethics, uh, and a liberal education, which is from the old Greek notion of being liberated from being a prisoner of your own, limited to being a prisoner of your own experience, to have a broader, more cosmopolitan understanding of the world around you. So studying so many different subjects, the relationship to humans in the natural world around us in the age of of, of certainly environmental stress, if nothing more, that's particularly acute at this moment. In the age of such health care issues that profound are profound in our country, that is a particularly important moment and understanding to have the depth and uh, uh, meaning of the health care crisis that faces us. So a liberal education gives you uh, an experience with cultures outside of your own, different historical periods, the relationship with the natural world, the human experience, and so on. Well, why is that important? Why the professional and the liberal together? Well, uh, as I've told freshmen when they walk in the door, so I'll tell graduates as they walk, walk out the door, you probably have experienced some, and certainly your parents and your families have experienced um, in their lives, the fact that life is full of great joy and great pain. And uh, the ability to deal with uh, questions and problems that, pose, that are outside of your immediate experience, the unscripted problems of life, dealing with the unscripted, is really a, a skill an art form, uh, and it's really a habit of mind. And a, a deep practical liberal education gives you a better chance of dealing with the unscripted, dealing with the unknown, because you have a habit of investigating things outside of your immediate experience. And so you've you received that kind of education here, and that's, that's a tremendous uh, uh, support system for you to go forward in your career. And also, it's a, a, pr a preparation that has asked something more of you, and will ask something more of you uh, throughout your lives in nursing and beyond nursing. Some of you will go outside of nursing. Uh, and that is, uh, you're not just trained as professionals in the most narrow sense. We live in an age where professionalism can be reduced in certain quarters to being nothing more than an interest group or an advocacy, advoc uh, advocacy group for a particular profession. Uh, and that's not what you've been trained to do. You've been trained to link your needs, your skills, your abilities, your passions with the patient. Your commitment is to the patient, uh, and that is unique in our society. It's what makes nurse, nursing such a noble and important and critical profession. It's a role model for how the rest of the profession should behave and understand themselves. Your commitment is to the people that you serve, uh, and that is something you've learned here at Wagner. I'm sure the faculty has made that paramount in terms of, uh, of what, what your profession is really about. 
and as I said, at a time when our nation is uh, still, even without a health care bill at this moment, has so many people who fall outside of uh, any kind of insurance system who are desperate to get the kind of assistance they need. Uh, there's one calling for assistance right now. Um, <laughs> Uh, we we desperately, desperately need people who are committed to patients. All of us here in the audience who have actually had to be in a hospital or a medical setting where we became so vulnerable, who do we turn to first? We turn to the nurse. We know the nurse will take care of us. The nurse is there to protect us. The nurse is there to tend to us. The nurse is there to mediate with the doctor, with the hospital, with the professionals. So it's absolutely critical. So you've been trained in that way, and it's absolutely uh, and part of what it means to be part of the nursing profession. And finally, I'll tell you this uh, from my perspective. Having watched now 13 years of nurses come through this program, both as undergraduates and graduates, I fully expect you, and you look at all of me when I tell you this, I fully expect all of you to excel in your profession. I would think nothing less of wagon nurses, and the ones I've met professionally do excel in your profession. But I expect all of you to be leaders in your profession, and you will be, you've been trained that way. And I expect most of you, if not all of you, running wings of hospitals or pharmaceutical companies or uh, what have you, clinics, uh, 10 years out, because you've held up those kinds of abilities and those kinds of, that kind of potential. So with that, I salute you, I congratulate you. I look forward to engaging you as alumni and seeing how, you, how your careers progress. Congratulations.